Stay tuned as Jack tries to juggle four dates at the same time on Three's Company. Next, after On Vegas, Dan Tana cracks open an extortion ring. Commentators is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Holy crow! This is sick commentators. Ooh, what are we doing this week? Threes. Oh, well, what, what else are we gonna do? Yeah, what else? It's what we fucking do. What's what's threes? Well, for the threes people who aren't threes heads out there, threes company. Mm-hmm. That's, That's right. right. Not threes a crowd, although that was okay. Yeah, we've been long promising that we would do an actual proper Threes Company episode of Sick Commentators. Uh, we, we've done other Threes Company episodes on our old show, Fives Company. But this is our first official Threes Company episode here on the Sick Commentators. We're doing uh, the first episode of Season 5, and this is one of the last Chrissy episodes, because Chrissy was about to start demanding more money and basically get herself fired. Mm -hmm. So the very next episode after this one, Chrissy was on strike and she didn't show up to work. Mm. So she made it five, up to four seasons. Four full seasons and got into the fifth one here. And we could talk more about that after the show. Yeah. Um, We've got something brand new though for this episode of Three's Company on Sick Commentators. That's the Jack Tripper Tripometer. Oh, geez. So be looking in the corner of the screen, you'll be seeing every time that Jack trips or stumbles or fumbles or bobbles or just basically does any kind of physical comedy. Pretty much everything he does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bites his hand. Any kind of physical comedy. Uh, we will count it up on the Jack Tripper Tripometer. Amazing. We're keeping track of Jack's trips. <laughs> That's right. His trips. All right. We should probably start. Let's do this. Let's try it. This episode's called Upstairs, Downstairs, Downstairs? I think that's a take on, there was a show called Upstairs, Downstairs, I think on PBS. Oh. Back in the 70s or 80s. Um, kind of thing that your grandma would watch maybe. Yeah. I kind of want to apologize during the music here for saying threes. Because some people at home might have thought that it was like the Three Men and a Baby TV show. Right. Which is very popular. Yeah. But threes, you know. Three, three Men Baby sitcom that existed. Yeah. 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 Right. There's a lot of shows uh, with uh, some kind of number in the title, right? You got two and a half men. There's eight is enough. Mm-hmm. There's 227. Know. There's 227. Yeah. Remember this part, Shane? Rob Schneider. That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Him and Paul Rudd. And then, yeah. No, it's Rob little, Schneider. Rob Schneider. <laughs> it's too much. Uh, it's too much. Ah, Very close. Really. Yeah. Who are they showing these shirts to? Each other, but they're, yeah, doing it TV stuff. They all yeah. shop separately and didn't realize they bought funny shirts. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's got a little Jack, pink thing here. going. I yep. got the same Jack, shirt. I, I should have wore it. It's an eyes or something? This weekend. I, I think, think it's a little tea gray. That yeah. doesn't yeah. matter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sort of yep. Larry Dallas, right out the gate. What what you Larry you Dallas, mm-hmm. we talked a lot about in our Three's a Crowd episode. Her, Pretty sure my dad run. had that jacket. <laughs> yeah, that's the Carl Sagan <laughs> outfit. Boo, boo, boo. No problem, Larry. They're I'm always just, like uh, wearing out their elbows in those jackets. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to have pads when you're elbowing around town, talk, elbowing yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, Maybe because you typewriters were harder to push the buttons. Like, yeah, you, out you, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's from working at a desk. Oh, you like this? Where you type like a praying fucking mantis? Yep. With your elbows? The whole army used to type back in the day. Praying fucking mantis? Remember those cans they put on the wall back in the day? Who the fish? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember those. A little copper. In case you want to make like a snail out yeah, of cake. Those, those things are, you see the ones in the background there? Yeah, they've got, they got so many of them. I have one that's shaped like a dick from a bachelorette party out in that garage out there. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's a secret. I yeah. didn't want to I tell remember them. when you were a bachelorette. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that dick. <laughs> it was a cake. So that's Larry's little black book, right? Larry had a little black book that he was always pulling out. Yeah, yeah, with all his numbers. Something the guys used to do before cell phones. Yeah. Can you imagine what's in Larry's book? All the golden a girls. Of, a lot of 17-year-olds. He's like, I'll see you next year, honey. Come on, Jack. You've got to. 
I, I'm just being with Larry. Seems like a creep. I know, Larry doesn't deserve Larry. I know. There's no evidence that he was a pedophile. Larry's into twins. He likes twins. You know. That's true. Has Jack fumbled yet? Larry's hair is pretty dope. Hold on one second. Larry speaks French. Larry speaks French. Jacques? Oui. Hmm. She is French. I mean, uh, yes, this is Jacques. Jerk, jerk, Jack, Jack. Yeah, that counts. Uh, that counts. Does that count? <laughs> he's had no, no, physical no. comedy. No. He's flicked. Does that not count? He's had like a spasm. Oh, well, he did have a seizure for a second, but. We'll have to let Kathy, the producer, judges? decide. Judges? <laughs> I get so excited about a good meal in my country. A great chef is the second best thing you can be. What's the first? A great lover, of course. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> How soon can you get up here? <laughs> <laughs> Who does that, that do that? Oh, there's one. Yeah, there you go. What have I done? I promised you. He goes through a lot of phones in their house. He's smacking them around, around biting them. Bunches phones, bangs them on tables. Like, why are our phones always dying, Jack? Isn't he chewing on the cord? Chewing on the cord. Fucking maniac. Larry. It's getting a little too excited. He just made a little girl's song after your studio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's class. Uh, it's class. Say, no, it's yeah. I think earlier. He just said, thank heaven for little girls. He did. It was a creep. Uh, how was your day? Fine, thanks. They didn't fire Chrissy for her looks going bad or anything. No, no. She's still looking good here for the final shows. They started really puffing up and making that hair blonde. To a honeymoon suite. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about her tits. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry, parents. <laughs> Renob next to me. Yeah. <laughs> what a Renob. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned after the show. I have, I have a, uh, viewers, I have a lot of fun Janet facts. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got some Janet or Joyce DeWitt facts as well. Yeah. Are we going to have a Janet jam? Yeah, what's he doing? He's physical. He's grabbing his leg. Yeah, yeah what was that? See what I'm talking about with her hair? It's got like a yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like flavor on top of there. Some kind of it's a wig? A bun could be on an top of a ponytail. And, yeah, that's bizarre. That's a lot of hair. You turned down the tickets? This is like 1980 ish. Yeah, it's probably 81, 82. 77, fifth season. Think of Janet. Look at that face. Look at how disappointed she is. Hands off her, Jack. So, uh. That's her disappointed face. You made a disappointed face. So Suzanne Summers was such a big star that she had to leave the show. What'd she end up doing afterwards? I can only think of one thing. She did TV movies. She's the show master. She's the master. She's the master. That's basically master of thighs. Well, she did step by step and was like step by step. Ran for like, yeah, she's part of TGIF for like. He ran for like nine seasons. Uh, what do you think was I don't even Patrick, remember that. Patrick Duffy. Oh yeah, remember? okay, yeah, yeah. They had a mixed. It's like a, a modern Brady bunch with a mixed family. Yeah, three, three a blended. Family. What was more lucrative? Do you think the Foreman Grill or the Thigh Master? Uh, Foreman Grill. You think the Thigh Master grill? was pretty big, but I think it's, I think so many people had Foreman Grill. Foreman Bill still takes it. Okay. Wow. Oh, French lady. Oh, That's French French lady. lady. Oui, oui. And the jumper. Yeah. Different. You, you, you can't have dinner here. She just got back no. from Cannonball Run. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, there was a, there was, what happened? Yeah. Those jumpers with, with, uh, are uh, with Adrian Barbeau. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's going to cry if she wanted don't dinner so much. Oh, she's she's never had an American dinner. Maybe she's starving as well. Yeah. She definitely doesn't have it's any Barbeaus on her. <laughs> Jack should like, serve like French fries and no, that's French wine. omelets. Uh, they for the food to her to upset her. Yeah. What, what did you think? We weren't gonna have dinner together. Huh? French toast. Well, She's crying. That's what you said? No, no, I said that we weren't going to have dinner here. To, Jack's to got see such a my, kind heart. My, my, my roommate's sick. The French woman well, cries that she doesn't have dinner. Uh, he can't. He can't deny her. Hey, she's yeah. crying about dinner. Yeah, yeah. He's like, but I gotta feed this woman. It's, 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 uh, if three's company, three what's gonna happen when she's around? Four. That's four. Up to four. Fuck. Yeah. And you know Furley's got to get involved at some yeah. point. He's gonna be like, Jack's having an orgy in there. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to do uh, Furley impressions. Oh, no, sorry, is that not my contract? Wings, thing. Sorry. We'll cut that out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big trip. Yeah. Big 
trip. That might be worth two. Oh, that's Chevy Chase level. <laughs> yeah. The French girl made him flip over backwards. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh my god, oh, man. I haven't seen that many flips since Popeye rolling down the fucking dock. <laughs> right. Well, listen, I think I, uh, I'll go uh, put the chops on. Oh, what can we do? Uh, 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 open the Show wine. Show me your tits. <laughs> say. This is like the R rated episode of the <laughs> commentators. <I've... laughs> Jack, that, that's, I think that's a trip right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on. Left Jack. the steak behind. Uh, what, what, is, food? what are those little sausages on the counter? He's like, what I gotta feed this bitch? Hamburger. Man, just gotta improvise, huh? Well, he's a chef. Come yeah. on, you don't just have chef stuff lying around. What kind of chef are yeah, you? Yeah, I know. Hamburger. It's so weird to me that when, why are these colors ever oh, good? Yeah, it's yeah. weird. Early eighties yeah. colors yeah. of orange and yellow, no, and brown, because and... everything had lead in it and it was making everybody <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I agree, though. It was really, really yeah, crappy colors in the eight, early 80s. Pretty green. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of green. Yeah. A, lot of, yeah. a lot of shag carpet. Gold. It's like people were like, harvest gold. My parents had a gold couch set, I remember. Mm -hmm. We had gold couch, yeah, too, at one point. Yes. Gold couches meant you had, you're rich. Yes. That's what I thought. Mine was gold rug. Whose place like she's in? Is this Larry? Larry has pictures of Larry. He's got pictures of all, yeah. of all yeah. his girlfriends. Yeah. On the yeah. <laughs> Conquest. Little notches in Larry's bed. All the girls from his little black book. But they're like, those would look like bikini like, shots and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that make other girls mad when you brought them up back yes. to your place? I don't think she's happy. Hmm. Yeah. He's got a bowling trophy, too. How, 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 how can you tell that? By looking in your face, you have such honest eyes. <laughs> Hors Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is hors d'oeuvre. Hey, where yeah. are you going? What do you even cook? Uh, uh, I'll be right back. Jack seems to be in love. That's, that's why I was asking what was on his counter. It looked like sausages. Jack seems to be in love with this one. They might have been sausages. He should have. Look at his roommate get so mad that he doesn't cook him gourmet dinners and shit. Yeah. He, yeah, he has to cook him a dinner because he's been promising for so long. Like, I'm guessing he would cook for himself and just never lets them have any, maybe? What was that for? Just for being you. Listen, you sit down and relax. Chrissy mm -hmm. and I'll take care of everything. Should have brought in the fourth for a long time because it made yeah. the other two jealous, and then he could have. Oh, that's a real TV show. Sorry, <laughs> this is the R-rated so version of sitcom <laughs> theater. <laughs> uh, you already said that once. And I'm saying it over and over. Oh. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck! Whoa. I thought I was hoping it was Furley. Oh, I was getting oh, a high five. Uh, uh, this is his actual Jack? date. Jack? No, yeah. you're not. Five's company. <laughs> Five, so How do you end up with so many dates? Oh, I can't believe I Look at the stance. Is that what he wanted to punch her? You wanted to punch her? I don't know. I don't think he wanted to punch her. I think he's about to punch his boner because he had to get That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how you get rid of a boner, too. You bite your fist. Yeah, you should have tug on his re knob. <laughs> didn't your service tell you I called? No, I didn't check. Holy crow. Punch his boner. <laughs> That's pretty good. Does <laughs> she want food too? Yes. A bunch of hungry bitches showing up here. <laughs> this is the R-rated version, by the way. Put your kids to bed. Congested chest. Jack, I'm a nice Izod shirt. I didn't see the alligator before. That's a tiger, I think. I think it's a tiger. A little tiger. That's what you guys were talking about earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm still on the uptake. Yeah. I think it's an Izod. Look at that no, cashmere cash sweater, though. The, the, the alligator. Yeah. Little sweater puppets. No, it doesn't cash look right. sweater puppets. So what else was there? There was there was the dragon. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. She, she, he I told her he's sick, <laughs> and so she gave him a kiss. Because he's sense. too sick to have a date. Yeah. She's like, take care of yourself. She's like, she okay, well. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's gluing, uh, he's gluing his mug. <laughs> Super glue. That's Look at his speakers. Look at his speakers. His, Look at his furly his wall of sound back now. there. He's got two speakers on top of each other. Yeah. There, that ought to hold it. Use the lethal weapons. He broke his beer stein, getting uh, too uh, wasted. Yeah. Uh, oh, I broke oh, it. Uh, he broke it at October. Good job, Furley. Where's the furlometer? 
Ruben's got, Ruben's got a chick poster back there. Yeah, they're all so horned up. Yeah. Everybody's horny back then. <laughs> That's a velvet one. Yeah, yeah his is a little classier. Yeah. I know how busy you are. I gotta listen to this, Burley. He's got the same jumpsuit as Jack Dave. <laughs> I know. They're wearing the same outfit. <laughs> Bigger collars, but yeah. fall in love with you. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Burley, don't act innocent with me. You've Made a woman fall in love with him. Yeah. The fur happens all the time. Impressionable young Furly's woman irresistible. turned on by a mature and successful man at the height of his virility. <sighs> but, but that's ridiculous. I mean, I, I'm old, old enough to be their older brother. <laughs> <laughs> they are upstairs right now pining away. They stopped seeing younger men. You know, it's that classic May-December romance. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's like a, a Hawaiian over. luau girl. <laughs> Yeah, it goes with his no, no, I'm not. lamps. I'm not. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 that's his motif. Oh, I want to go to Hawaii. Good idea, Mr. Furley, the phone is quicker. Use the phone. Hurry up. Not a second. Mr. Furley. He's dialing. He's dialing. He's dialing. He's furling out right there. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Furley. How, is there, how many misunderstandings have we had? Come down to your apartment right oh, now. Oh, man, we're way past three. This is a very special episode. Yeah. Usually it's three. Where were you? <laughs> Look at that bowl of salad. So she made salad. That's okay. a lot of salad. A lot of salad. Who was that, Chrissy? It was Mr. Furley. He wants us to come down to his apartment right away. He sounded so strange. He is strange. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bite your tongue. Yes, but this is different. What? What do you mean different? I've spoken too soon. Maybe I shouldn't say anything. No, no. Tell I'm us. sorry. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay, okay. It's Mr. Furley tricking, is extremely though. depressed. Why? Well, it's his 50th birthday, and he's, he's in his apartment. <laughs> Curly's Curly's 50. 50. What? It's his 50th oh, birthday. 50 <laughs> furls around the globe? Yeah. Uh, around the sun? Yeah, Excuse me? 50 furls around the sun for furls. 50 furls. Yeah, something like that. Like 50 wonder, girls. Oh, yeah, I wonder how old he actually yeah. was. <laughs> probably about 50, actually. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe they just seem old when you're a little kid. <laughs> People who looked older in the 70s. Well, they're supposed to probably be like in their 20s, oh, you yeah. know, like on here. Right. That's, you know, Jack's like 30. Jack's probably, yeah, pushing yeah, 40. Take this, not bring the rest of the dinner down. <laughs> That'll give us a chance to cheer him up. Yeah, yeah but Janet, don't Janet's mention anything like... about his birthday. I don't want him to think that that's the only reason you're down there. Yeah, her early right, 30s right, here, Janet. I'd say. Oh, Was he in the It movie? It? Yeah, the TV one. Mm. I don't think so. Yes. He was? Yes. That's John right. Ritter was in the TV one. Oh, yeah. oh, triple meter. Oh, oh, crazy. Triple meter. Because I just remember uh, Harry... Uh, is it Harry Stone? No, that's... Uh, he was, the, he was yeah. the rich one. He was the rich... Uh, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, Harry Anderson. Rich. Harry Anderson, yeah. 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 The judge from Night Court was right. definitely in the uh, it. Good idea. If we just made you can see Chrissy's bra. Yeah. We'll save that for the, the it cast. <laughs> I bet her bra smells like boobs. Probably. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> right in the comments if you heard him say it. <laughs> we thought after dinner we could all have some fun together. What? Oh, he's, that's too much for Furley. God damn it. Oh, Jack. He's got to get some burgers, huh? They need oh. burgers at this. Uh, actually, this is for my uh, upstairs oh, no. neighbor, Larry. He has the flu. Wow, it must be catchy. Yeah. Well, why don't you run along upstairs and I'll just go and check on your roommate? No, 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 no. Uh, l- l- check on the roommate. Like, oh, would you believe it? Sleeping like a baby. Listen, Doreen, why don't you go over there and have a bowl of soup? Or oh, maybe, maybe he says oh, roommate was soup? sick. I think yeah, he said his roommate was sick. Yeah, that was wrong. That's so much soup. That's a lot of soup. It's weird to check on a roommate that she's never met yeah. before. Yeah, let me check that. I think she's suspicious that Jack's lying. But d- it doesn't seem to make her any less horny for him. There's a lot of lying on Three's Company. Three's Company's a lie for a show. Yeah, Jack's a fucking liar. Oh, Jack lies constantly. Oh. Damn, damn. Look at this. Set up, though. so much soup for oh, yeah. one woman who's that small. That's like enough soup for 20 people. <laughs> I mean, she was really sad when she didn't have food, so he's probably yeah. thinking she needs it. Oh, he's going to eat it. Though. He's eating it. I thought it would be more romantic if we both ate out of the same dish. Chef, mm. don't you want to say anything? Oh, yeah, right. Dear Lord, thank you for what we are about to make. <laughs> what? That is the biggest bowl of soup I've ever seen. Looks like it's mostly carrots. Oh, yeah, what are the white... No, oh, burnt the steaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are the white things in there? Kind of chef. Marshmallows. Yeah. Uh, I forgot the broccoli. 
I'll be right Give back. the Here, French Sandra Bernhardt her soup. Just potato, maybe? <laughs> maybe. maybe just potato. potato? So bright white. Like, it looks horrible. Carrot potato soup. I mean, that would be yeah. delicious. And he really it? seemed to be eating it. Oh, he was really enjoying that. Yeah. Are you following any of what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That bitch Burley's great. Yeah. Oh, stand the words. Well, I know, but that's beside the point. That'd be the greatest TV character of all time. Yeah, yeah I, I put a vote for Furl. Look, I don't need any complications in my life, and neither do you. <laughs> Furl and Larry David. He's a good TV character. Just renewed. Season 12. Can't wait for the Larry David cast. What, what was Don no, Knotts? Was Don Knotts on, um, like, Carol Burnett? Was he on that? No, I don't think, I don't think he's on that. Like yeah. Special guest. He was, you know, on Mayberry. He was the... Yeah, sure. Yeah. He was on The Muppets. Yeah. Definitely on The Muppets. Yeah. Yeah. Andy Griffith, of course. Lots of movies. Starving yeah. Fever. Burger. He was on Scooby-Doo a fucking lot. Yeah, a lot of guest appearances on things. I mean, he yeah. could have been on a million different sitcoms, probably, as a guest. Did he go out with the burgers? Yeah, what the? Burgers. Oh. The lawns are flat. Uh -huh. That's the cold read time, folks. You know what that means? Cold read. This is the part of the show where. What is going on over here? Oh. Guys, I'm getting a page. You know when they oh. say 911 at the end of the number? Yeah. It means it's really important. I probably should. I hate to do this in the middle of the show, but I should probably go check and see what's well, happening. I think this Maybe. happened once oh, before sorry. that you had a page and you had to leave. On. Right, okay. All right, sure. I guess we'll do it. All right. This is three. Well, hopefully we'll be back here in a second before we actually get into this. We got, uh, before we do the cold read, we got a sponsor for the cold read this week, you guys. Who's that? Yeah. Lego Hell? <laughs> so, no, it's not. No, the, the beer is not the sponsor. Right? Steel Hell. There. No, the sponsor <laughs> is Ha Ha Security Cameras. Security cameras, uh, the best in funny security camera footage. So funny. Yeah, sponsor of Cold Reads here on the Sick Commentators. All right, uh, you know, we haven't seen this uh, episode recently, although maybe Lane has. <laughs> you watch Three's Company like every day. Yeah. Um, but I haven't seen this in a long time. You haven't seen it in a long time. Who are you playing in today's Cold Read scene? I'm going to be Chrissy. All right. I'm going to be your buddy Janet. I, you know, I have, I have a classic Janet that people enjoy. Yeah. I'm going to be Furley. You are the Furley not of a big all surprise. time. Not Furley. a big surprise. Yeah. And Nate is still not back. Well, who's going to do Jack? Just, yeah, we need a Jack. Hey, before you get up for your final snack, I want you to know I'm going to be Jack. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh Alf. Alf. Hey, Man. it's my favorite pals, the sick commentators. Should we call you Alf or Gordon? <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Well, it's good to... That's it's amazing. good to see you, Alf. So you're going to do Jack. That's so helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Good. All right. Alf, yeah, Alf is Jack. Uh, really let's, let's get into it the then. Three's yeah. company on Melmac. Huh? Let's oh, do it. You know? It's my favorite show. I love to eat cats. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Doesn't really have much to do with Three's company, but that's cool. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're happy hey. to have your help, Alf. Hey, can I read off your script? No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Whoa. Just hey. Improvise. All right. R rated Alf. <laughs> Here, I guess. Here, I got an extra one. Here you oh, go. Thank you. There you go. Extra you script. Put that next to my furry hands. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Come on, Mr. Furley. You're very tense. Just sit down. Relax. But you don't understand. Isn't this better? Ah, uh, yeah. No. What? <laughs> Let me try. Let me try. Close your eyes. Dinner and... is served. Jack. I'm glad you're here. Listen, you you weren't just whistling Dixie. These two girls are crazy about me. Well, after all, they're only human. Listen, uh, Mr. Furley, why don't you sit down there? Uh, Chrissy, Janet, sit next to Mr. Furley. Uh, no, 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 no. You girls, just sit over there. And Jack, you sit here next to me. I love to shit. <laughs> hey, what is this? I thought we were having lamb. We are. What do you call these, Jack? Lamb burgers? As a matter of fact, <laughs> yes. Hold on for a second. Uh, hold on, Alf. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, uh, we're gonna just back it up so we can hear 
Shane's laugh, yeah, okay. and other people aren't talking over it. Go, go back there, Shane. Okay. <laughs> on on Melmac, we don't have a snort. <laughs> you don't know what snort is. Right? No, you, you're from. I'm the, sorry. It's okay. Uh, lamb burgers. <laughs> Hey, mm, mm, they're good. You know, that's the interesting thing about lamb burgers. Either they're very, very good or very, very bad. <laughs> Get it? Lamb, bad, bad. You know, oh, I'm going to go get some dessert, okay? Forget the dessert. You're staying here until after dinner, right next to my side. Well, if you insist, do you mind if I take a nibble off of yours, Mr. F? <laughs> Isn't this just to die from? Why, Mr. Furtz, you got a little crumb on your lip. Furtz? <laughs> Mr. Furls, I think, but Furls. I like Furtz better. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right, Alf, you're doing great. Okay, let me get that for you. <laughs> oh, wipe my own mouth, thank you. I was only trying to help. I thought you were gonna get dessert. I'm gone. Ah! <laughs> That was amazing performance by the Al. The meter goes off on the screen. Oh, man. I, that, that joke, that was uh, just made for Alf, that joke oh, about yeah. the... Hey, sit commentary. I'll smell you later. I gotta go oh, back to Bill. Leave oh, oh, man. Come on. Oh, man, it was so nice. Bye. You know, that's that. He's, you know, he's smaller than he is uh, on TV. Yeah. A little smaller than I remember him being on TV, but Here he's comes Nate. just as Nate, cool. come on. Nate's back. Well, guys, nice. Nothing what? happened, did it? Nate, come on oh back. My God. You missed it. Can't oh believe you're back. You missed it. <laughs> I left for a little bit. Is everything cool? Everything's cool. All everything. right. Well. Well, I think we're ready to get back to the show then. Sounds Let's good. See. Let's see how good we did. Let's see how well we did. Here we go. Oh, you're very tense. Just sit down. I mean, Alf yeah, showed up. I didn't miss that. What? Yeah. yeah. We'll tell you about later. Oh, oh fuck you. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the middle of a show, buddy. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jack, am I glad you're here? Jeez, Jack. You weren't just whistling dicks. Yeah. Run, running himself ragged. Yeah. Well, after all, they're only and There's hamburgers. nothing on the hamburgers. Uh, uh, terrible hamburgers. Uh, uh, no condiments, no cheese, no lettuce. Uh, it's just like bun and patty. I didn't even see him cook them. And you could be wrong. Yeah. And I had a good sit right there. That was a good uh, angle uh, out there. We yeah. Are. What happened? Oh, he went, uh, oh, Curly says sit. Oh, I was off on my pager thing. Yeah. Norton, yeah. Norton. Yeah. 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 What? Shane uh, got to do a Chrissy very, snort. Very good, oh, very, very yeah, yeah. Mm, you missed that one. I'll watch it later. Yeah. I like yeah. how they have a salad. He's chewing, and he hasn't taken a bite. I know. Yeah, no, 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 come on. Right. Right. Pretend he ain't. <laughs> he took the he tiniest must eat some bite. Yeah, he must have eaten some lettuce. Those might be uh, sandwiches. Well, they don't even have bowls for their salad. Oh, Jack just took a no bite, too. You've got a little crumb on your nose. What? I just got in furrows. Oh, okay. Sound kind of furrows. I don't get it. Do you notice that there's no bowls for the salad? Just a <laughs> yeah, get a hand for the salad. Yeah, oh, hand oh, so, <laughs> no, so he's going back into the pretending to be gay thing. Right yeah, yeah, he's pretending to be gay to try to stop Furley from yeah. like like making him stay. You know, that was his last resort. Right, right. right. Play the gay card. Jack, I'm surprised are, Furley are didn't earn an Emmy for that tonight. invisible hamburger bite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that was yeah. Jack took an invisible Come bite here. after that. No. Whoa! He's all sweaty. Told you that was already. Smells Jack like ham up. Smells like hamburgers yeah. and sweat. Yeah, oh yeah. You opened the door with his head. You opened the door with your head. She was into it. Lamb burgers. She's like, wow. Like you they were technically she lamb burgers. She thought that was totally normal yeah. to open the door with your head. I think they're manages. Oh, we got, got her some wiener. I get it. He is an amazing cook, though. He's an amazing He's cook. Hamburgers. Oh, so far, so far, Janet made the salad. He's come yeah. up with lamb burgers and hot dogs. And he didn't even like help Janet by saying, "Janet, you need a bowl and like a fork as well." You know, he just Whoa. let the amateur cook screw up. He also made some bizarre soup in a gigantic bowl. Yes. Yeah. That, that French out. girl. That French girl's probably getting oh, sick guys. from at this point. I mean, what's going to happen when it comes time to wax? How's he going to pull that one off? Is that <laughs> Great. Who knows when that'll be? He might have gone up to check on Larry again. Does Jack uh -oh. ever wax? They're gonna check on Larry. Now the girls won't let him. He's gonna have girls there. Janet gets really mad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if he has a girl over. Uh, if, he's, if he's having sex with her. Yeah. 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 Janet gets mad. Right. Oh, he's probably right there. That means Janet's in love with him probably or something. Okay, if you won't come out, then we're gonna go see Larry. Yeah. Good. Give me a call when you get to San Francisco. Uh -oh. 
Oh, he's blowing it. Wait, where is he? San Francisco? Yeah, that's where Larry went for the weekend. Uh-oh, so who's in Larry's apartment? Good for Lee. Franchi. That was good. Oh, he's brought, like, uh, nah, steaks. See how and... mad they are? They're yeah. pissed that Jack's got a woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Jack's like the, the bachelor on that reality show. He just makes out with all the girls. And the yeah. Probably tries to have sex with Ooh, that'd be a good oh. show. Oh, 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 big one. There's one. one for the cat. Oh, and they have trouble opening the door. That was almost, that was almost a double. Jack <laughs> Island. <laughs> Hear me out if he's still alive. Jack Island and all the women could try to buy yes, for Jack, Jack Island. Island. Jack, come on, man. You ever see that run? You're losing it. That's Back a funny picture of Jack Island we're going to yeah. put up later. <laughs> yeah, it's Jack uh, Island. He's tripping. The jig's up. You're all here. Uh-oh. What's going to happen with that cake, guys? Do you have any idea? Uh, I feel like the cake is not going to end uh, up being Janet, eaten. It'll probably end up on someone. On Jack. Chrissy. Probably Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly the wine. The French lady's about to show up, probably. How cheap? You got an open bottle of wine? How old is that thing? Oh, come on. The screw top? It was the one that the girls were drinking. They, they all had a oh, yeah, they, they just right. opened it. Yeah. 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 Just that night. I, I guess that's okay. He went from having no food to making a giant salad, yeah. to making hamburgers, she to making a cake, soup. to making a soup. Dang, he's sweating. She came back with the soup. I got the soup here. She ate it all. Oh, um, shit. She ate all those carrots and potatoes. Oh, 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 I saw that coming. Then yeah. she went on strike. Why are they so mad about it? Because they secretly want to oh, burn him. I think Jack made more money too, so she's probably happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red wine on the carpet? Oh, oh, the, oh the food on Jack. And a hot dog, dog in his mouth. Oh, was he even oh, cooking hot dogs? No, yeah, he, he was cooking. He had, he had some hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah. They just emasculated it's him. Not cooked. That's not it's right wrong. that they do that to wrong Jack. Hot yeah. Dog. What yeah. if they? Bro, Furley could be like, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> day later. What if yeah. they did that to Janet? Hot dog party, right? That, 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 that wouldn't go over. No, so you couldn't do that to any of the Jack. Poor Jack. I dye my hair real white, you see. All he wanted was a French girl. I was more upset they poured red wine on his carpet. Furley's worried about it's too hot, too old, being too young. Yeah, he wants to look less hot, so the girls will be. So the women will be after him. I don't understand why he was upset though that the women liked him. It's just too much. Too him. much for his It was dick. overwhelming him. Yeah, yeah. He made him nervous. He likes to pretend that he's, he's a, 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 a swinger, but he doesn't really <laughs> swing. Yeah, right. Thanks for help anytime. I'll tell you something else. You want to take the You're fucking hot dog eater. out of your mouth? <laughs> You're sloppy. Is that what he said? Oh, he's talking about. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 That. How you doing? Yeah, that's the money show. Uh, that that's the the chef's meter? kiss, as they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave Powers, he directed a lot of his episodes. Yeah. He did a good job, you know. This was the season premiere, so they're like, we gotta go with Powers. <laughs> that was the season premiere? That was the five. season, season five, five premiere, yeah. Wow. And then the very next episode, Chrissy is uh, like hiding out. Where the hell they get us? On strike, oh, okay. want more money. Look at this scene. Yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite yeah. scene. That yeah. is a great scene. The slow motion walk is probably yeah. it's... Wow, it was sung by Ray Charles. Did you see that? The theme song. Well, I don't think really? so. <laughs> it was. It must be a different Ray <laughs> Charles. Different Ray Charles, yeah. That but is... it was a Ray Charles. 1980. 1980. Yeah, I nailed it. Dang. Fifth nice season work. in 80, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first episode, yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, you know, the, the the in 77, it was just like a few episodes. Okay. You know, it was a mid-season replacement, few episodes gotcha. in 77. That's right. <clears throat> So, that was uh, a pretty fun episode of uh, the Three's Company. I'd that, say. Was yeah, that was great. Awesome. That was, that I, was I think we talked over most of it, and I yeah. and there's a lot of laughs, for me at least. <laughs> you yeah. missed a really pivotal scene. Oh, actually, I guess you saw it. but Yeah, you missed it's... acting it out. Yeah. Well, when, when you're paid, hey, you guys know at home, if you have a pager, you got to answer that. If you have a pager, yeah, yeah. and they put 911 after it, I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Could be anything. Or 69. Or 420 if you got the hookup. Yeah. <laughs> well, or 411 uh, if you wanted to know what was going on. Or 69 yeah. if you're Janet, Miss Nasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got any other numbers that mean anything? No, I'm sorry. How many episodes of Three's Company do you think there are? <laughs> Probably 69 episodes. No, more than that. <laughs> a lot more than that. Three's yeah. Company is a lot of freaking episodes. 170. So close. He's, he's on. Eight. Okay. So some websites say 172, some say 173. I'm guessing maybe there's like a double length one or something that they sometimes cut in half. I don't know. Or maybe they count the Ropers one 
that we did uh, sometimes yeah. has threes and yeah, sometimes there's not a crossover. Threes. The first Ropers episode was actually yeah. in the Threes Company time slot. Yeah, so, um, you know, we've talked a lot about Threes Company, talked about Threes the Crowd, uh, talked about the Ropers, you know, both the spinoffs. So I thought, you know, since we're doing a, a Threes Company episode again, let's let's focus on one of the cast members. Okay. Let's focus on my favorite, Janet. Janet. You know, Joyce, the one yeah. That I do a perfect impression of. And uh, let's learn a little yeah. bit about uh, Joyce DeWitt here at the end of this episode. I like that. All right. Yeah, she doesn't get her enough credit. Doesn't so. get enough yeah, credit. Yeah. Joyce well, Jam. Joyce Jam. It's a Joyce Jam. People kind of... <laughs> I like the Joyce Jam. <laughs> Thank you. People, I think, kind of, you know, she's kind of almost the 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 forgotten, not forgotten, but the the one who gets the least credit. I think. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's kind of overlooked. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the originals. She's the Max Wright of Three's Company. He gets oh. overlooked a lot. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if she would appreciate that comparison. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I don't remember her being in anything after Three's Company, though. No. I well, we're gonna so. talk about that because oh, I've okay. done. Okay. Let me tell you, last night was. Bryce sitcom hanging out with 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 <laughs> with Janet all night on the phone. Uh, well, so I've done that many times. Oh. But last night on YouTube and other places where I could watch. So I know a lot about Joyce now. So uh, Joyce, she she was born in 1949 and grew up in a place called Speedway, Indiana. All right, just outside of uh, Indianapolis, you know. Gotcha. And uh, and then she went to Ball State there in Indiana. Mm. Okay. Um, oh, forgot to mention. This is kind of a weird coincidence. Janet is also from Speedway, Indiana. Wait a minute. Really? So Joyce DeWitt's from Speedway, Indiana. Also, oh, Janet okay. Wood is from Speedway, wow. Indiana on the show. So she wouldn't forget. It's the Norm MacDonald okay. trope. If you name yeah, the character their own name, give them their own city. Just take it another step. Yep. Yeah. Give, them, name, give them their own damn city. Gotcha. I think that it was probably a coincidence, but you guys can believe that if you wow. want to. Norm MacDonald. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then she went to Ball State. And, uh, you know, there's a famous uh, alumni of Ball State, David Letterman. Oh, uh, yeah. And they're probably about the same age, so Weird. it's a good Maybe chance some that mm-hmm. Joyce DeWitt and Letterman, you know, were probably in love and had babies that no one knows <laughs> yeah. about. Maybe. Um, that's yeah. what I'm imagining. Mm-hmm. Hot and funny babies. She moved to Hollywood, you know, to be an actor, and, uh, and she got her first job on that show, Beretta. Anybody remember oh, yeah. Beretta? Beretta. You know it. Robert Blake. Yeah. I mean, I, I barely remember. That's kind of before my time. Even, I do but. remember. It was a cool name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a bird. I remember he had yeah. a pet bird on the show. Uh, it was sitting on his shoulder and yeah, like stuff, a, I think. a parakeet or something. Yeah. Is she a theater yeah. actress, though, before? J- Janet, uh, or Joyce, I should say. I call her by her actual name. She did. She's done a lot of theater, did a lot of theater, uh, studied theater at UCLA after she went to Ball State. So, yeah, she's a... She's a big theater person, but she played Mother Earth on Beretta. I don't know what that was. Oh, yeah. Then her second role ever, later there in 1975, was as Cindy on a a Robert Blake show called Most Wanted. Okay, two Robert Blake shows. No, sorry, Robert Stack. Oh, Robert Stack. Thanks for listening. America's Most Wanted. America's Most Wanted, Robert Stack. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, not Robert Blake, two Roberts. And then her third (laughs) role ever. Was Janet. was Janet. So, like, she was a huh. new actor, and she got a full-on series role. Hmm. Uh, the way it worked was they did a pilot with three completely different people. Mm. I don't even think, like, it was called Jack Tripper or anything. It was, like, completely, you know, different names, different mm. actors. I know they had a different Susan, a different Chrissy. Then they did a second pilot oh. with a different Chrissy. Oh. That they, they hired Joyce, and they hired ja- uh, John Ritter. And they did a second pilot, but they didn't like the Chrissy. And so apparently on the, the night before they were going to film the final pilot they were going to actually use as the series' first episode. Yeah. Suzanne Summers walked in without a bra. No, that, yeah. that, that guy that was in charge of the, all the like shows on ABC, Fred Silverman or whatever back then. Fred Savageman. He he just like was like oh I gotta find a better Chrissy. Uh, this is probably a bullshit story on the internet. And he was just flipping through all the pictures and all the like auditions. And he was like this is it, this is it I found her. Yeah. And you know she was an unknown. And so then they well, had she her. She was on uh, American Fall Guy or something. Uh, well, Fall Guy came after three. Oh, so she had a cameo appearance in the movie American Graffiti, and I oh. think oh. she got a little bit of attention well, for that. Go. So that's probably where he knew her from, yeah. or what maybe. maybe. George discovered her then. Her reel he was looking at. George Luke. There is Shout a TV out to show. Luke. There is a TV show that she was on that, according to the made-for-TV movie about Three's Company, uh, 
what's the guy's name? The Fred, Sa- Fred, Fred Savage. Fred, Fred Savageman. Said, give me that gal that was on some show in the 70s with, I don't know, but she just played some hot girl in a bar. Oh, okay. I, I bet the story I read on the internet was bullshit because it seemed like bullshit. It was like the last minute and he was like looking through everything. It was so, pretty much. Though. Oh, okay. She, she got hired like, and then they were like filming two days later. Yeah, like yeah, that. like <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they had to fill in, they had to reshoot it. And they didn't, you know, they had to re, because they actually shot the pilot with the other actress. And they they had took to her out. Well, digitally, they removed her and put Suzanne Summers mm-hmm. in. I heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was the first time they ever did that. Yeah. Huh? And then no one did it again for about thirty years. Till that damn bam, the zombie movie came out. It's amazing. Till they had to start yeah. taking Kim Michael Spacey Bay. Out of oh, and Kevin Spacey took. Please take Kevin. As a side note, please take Kevin Spacey out of all movies. Yeah. It makes me sad. All right, thank well, you. Well, who's who's gonna be Kaiser Sosa? Yeah, you uh, can't. Bill Cosby. Bill, oh, yeah, okay. Bill's right. even better. Yeah, get Bill put, the, in there. put Jared yeah, wow. from Subway in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joyce Dewitt, you know, like you're saying, she didn't do a ton of stuff, but she did some shows like while Three's Company was on because she was kind of hot. She got to do you know other shows okay. on ABC. Cause that's what they would do. Made for TV movies, yeah. Made for TV mm-hmm. movies, and then be on you know shows like Love Boat and a show called Super Train. Super mm-hmm. I watched Super Train last night on yeah. YouTube. So if you want to watch it, you wow. watch Super Train. It's Is it like, a kid's show? It's like Love Boat, but on a like, well, I wrote down this. It's on a giant nuclear powered Super Train that moves at 150 miles per hour. Wow. And it's got like discos and swimming pools and shopping malls. It's like, it's like kind of like a nicer Love Sounds Boat. Sounds like a lot of cocaine involved. Yeah. yeah. They've used that concept for later things. It later became Snowpiercer. Yeah, 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 there you go. That's it. Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer yeah. So, I had to check it out, right? And I'm glad I did because it was a weird ass show. It, uh, you know, Love Boat has, if you've seen the Love Boat, it has like multiple stories, right? There's different yeah. people that get on the boat and they have different stories. Super Train was a whole hour just about Joyce DeWitt. And she was a, <laughs> this one read down too. Professional ballerina okay. and sixty million dollar dime store heiress. Okay. The missing. Yeah, she was missing because she was on the run because she didn't want the money. She just wanted to be a ballerina. Oh, okay. But can you do ballet at 150 miles an hour? No idea why she was on the no, train. No, I just the train. Why people, the random people were on the train, didn't really make sense. Mm-hmm. And uh, and. Like, for instance, her love interest in the episode is um, uh, Bernie Capel. You guys remember that? that is? Oh, uh, rings a bell, but who is it? He's that uh, guy who tried to, he was running for president, Bernie Capel. Oh, is he yeah. from a. Uh, uh, Let's do erase all the debt. Barney Miller. We're no, erase no, the student no. debt. We're, we're going to talk about Capel. somebody from Barney Miller here in a second. Oh, uh, okay. He's in that movie with Jonathan Silverman and. Uh, <laughs> weekend at Bernie's? That's no, it. no. Cool weekend no. at Capel's. Bernie Capel is the doctor on the love boat. The nerdy oh, doctor yeah, on the love boat yeah, with yeah, the glasses. Yeah, yeah. So of that's course. who they hooked Janet with up on, on Super Train. That's her bo- like Weird. love interest. Is that like is the random. Radar. He's like the radar of the love boat. Yeah, that's and random. I, it's super crazy because he's a gynecologist. I guess he always Whoa. has to play some sort of doctor, right? All right, all right. And he's on the train because... The National Society of Gynecologists is having their convention on Super Train. <laughs> sure, and why not? One of his buddies is all drunk and he goes, Our motto is warm hands, cold. No, I screwed that up. I screwed that up. <laughs> Take, do, do it over, you two. Pretend like it didn't happen. <laughs> the little dude says their motto is warm hearts, cold hands. That's disgusting. Warm hearts, cold yeah, hands. Yeah, that's their gynecologist motto. That's and he, not right. And he uh-huh. says it to like a waitress lady and she doesn't look like she thinks it's very funny. No, no, that's it's probably sexual very harassment. offensive. Yeah. So, it was um, funny back then though. No, it yeah. wasn't, Lane. It's very offensive. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Mrs. Jefferson, Isabel Sanford, what? plays, yeah, yeah. I know, this is crazy, plays, Wheezy. Wheezy plays <laughs> The woman who raised Joyce DeWitt's character. Wow. And like, she was like her nanny. Like the nanny. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Of, the, of this rich family. The Wheezy Wit connection. She's, she's a dime now, store heiress. But now, like Wheezy. after the, the dime store dude died, he didn't give any money to Wheezy. Oh. And Wheezy's bitter, so oh. she's hired people to kill Joyce DeWitt. What? Oh. Because this is the craziest part of all. 
Because Joyce DeWitt, when she was a little girl, made a will and put her nanny as the sole uh, uh, wow. recipient of the money in the they will. Could have that. A little kid will? Yeah, I don't know. Such a thing. Oh, that was, yeah. The whole plot was about how they, if she killed her, she'd get the money because yeah. she wrote her a will. Yeah, that's not legal. That's Didn't not make legal, a lot of legally sense. binding. Mammy. She's being protected. <laughs> It's all sitcom people. The whole Super Train show. I know I'm going on and on it's about all Super famous. Train. It's all famous sitcom people. It's got yeah, Vic Tabak from Alice oh, yeah. and Everybody. Jamie Farr from MASH. The Jesus. Big, oh, the big wow. tape. They're playing railroad detectives who have to protect her. Why was everything yeah. a vehicle? Yeah. Why was there a plane show? Or was it just on planes all the time? I think because Is there a submarine was, show? Or was a hit. Okay. I think that was it, you know? Everything's a damn vehicle. Um, I got a weird fact about uh, Wheezy. Yeah. Hit us with a Wheezy fact. On um, the Jeffersons, she was Please actually advise. about 25 years older than George Jefferson. Oh, really? Sherman wow. Hensley. Sherman uh, Hensley was not really? that old. Huh. Though. He looked really old. I don't know if 25 years, but she was a lot older. Significantly older, huh? Than uh, her husband. Sherman. Portrayed by Sherman. Wheezy. Hemsley. She uh, had a little uh, dance. Yeah. <laughs> Sherman did. Yeah, that was good. And it was just, I think that all these shows must have been on ABC, the right? The Jeffersons must have been on ABC. <laughs> Everything must have been on ABC, and they're just using all their actors. Right. Tony Danza, isn't it? Get out. He's yeah, playing is. a reporter that they think is trying to murder. Her. It's like Taxi on Yeah, ABC? Samantha. I think Taxi was on ABC. ABC yeah. had some good shows. ABC Super Train, good Samantha. Shows. Super so, Train with Samantha. Check out uh, Super Train if you want to. You know, and, and spoiler. You know, Joyce survives. She does not get back. Oh. But it's, it was, uh, it's, oh. it's a weird, like, mix of comedy and, like... Did she do drama. any ballet? Is there a scene where she no. had to do ballet to fight no, people off? ballet. Did she do any Jim Cotta? In, like... A little bit of Jim Cotta okay. at the end, yeah, when she had to fight uh, Wheezy. That'd be funny if there's a picture of her doing Jim Cotta behind us right now. <laughs> yeah, you got sheets more. I got so that. much. I, got, I can talk oh, about it for hours. I probably should skip some Jesus. stuff. Jesus! Oh, but, you know... Uh, the one of the people trying to kill her was James Gregory, James Gregory, who played Inspector Luger on Barney Miller. Okay. So there was Barney. It was like every sitcom. Okay. I can't picture who was Luger though. He's the older guy who's like, like, kind of like almost a mentor to Barney. Okay. Uh, kind of curly gray hair. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Dad All like right. Barney Miller. Yeah. I would. I would recognize him probably. So, a um, little bit after that, Janet. I call her Janet, but Joyce was on Love Boat, and when she was on Love Boat, she was on with her boyfriend. They were, it was one of those things, I think Gross. they did that a lot on the Love Boat. Gross. Like your real life Gross. wife or husband, oh, they'd wow. match you up on the Love Boat. They wanted real love. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. But that was right before a big breakup, a big nasty breakup uh, between no. Joyce DeWitt and her boyfriend. And I, I've got some uh, information here from... Uh, People Magazine. What? This is, this is all part of the uh, made-for-TV movie about Three's Company. They talked about this, did they? Oh, yeah. wow. See, I've never seen that. I need yeah. to see that. Because really, the only person that was behind this made-for-TV movie was Joyce DeWitt. Um, oh. None of, the, none of the other actors really had much to do with it. So a lot of it was about her, like, drama yeah, It was her stuff. and her yeah, drama. Yeah. Yeah. So her the guy's name was Ray Botanica, Botanica, I guess. He was on Rhoda. I never really Rhoda. watched Rhoda, yeah. so I don't know. But um, in the August 4th, 1980 People magazine, she says about him, we fought constantly. I would live in terror of what he thought. If I did a talk show a thousand miles away, I would ask, did I make a fool of myself? My self-esteem and self-confidence had disappeared. I gave them away, but he thought I was spoiled and he wanted to be waited on hand and foot. I didn't have time to clean the house and fix dinner and wait on him. Raymond liked the old Joyce, but the old Joyce was a slave. Whoa. Some hardcore stuff Joyce was saying here. And so then People Magazine goes on to explain how she like reinvented herself. And this was right around the time of this episode we just watched. Mm -hmm. She began to create the new Joyce last year. She cropped her curly threes company hairdo off and mm -hmm. returned to her naturally straight locks. Oh, that. Yeah. She had that in this episode. Yeah. It, it was better. Yeah. It grew long at one yep. point. And at the same time, she lost 15 pounds on the Pritikin diet. Wow. And started doing, um, and I remember this when I was a kid, le eggs, pantyhose commercials. Legs. Oh, yeah. Legs, yeah. yeah. They would come in the little leg, and she'd yep. dance around in the pantyhose okay, in the yeah. commercials. Yeah. Totally forgot about that until I was reading this People magazine oh, thing. They say nothing Joyce beats a good pair of legs. <laughs> that was their, and their motto. She did a, one of those sexy posters you could hang up. 
Oh, yeah. At that time, yeah. like the 80s poster. Yeah, and she says, if only 25 people wanted to put me on their wall, I'll be thrilled. <laughs> That's probably so how many right were now there behind us. Probably like 26. You can see her showing her cleavage, and you know, 26 right here. Yeah. A smooth look is a sexy look, and it's yours with undie legs. The pantyhose with the stay put panty. Undie legs go under the clingiest of clothes, erasing wrinkly panty lines forever. All that's left is you. Stretching, bending, standing, setting. There's one pantyhose that's always fitting. Nothing beats a great pair of legs. Now save up to a dollar twenty on Undie Legs pantyhose. Her biggest yeah. stumble was not making like a meatball maker or a pancake maker. Or, you know, like yeah, uh, she didn't problem. have her yeah, thigh yeah. master. She needed like uh, the the Janet's spaghetti something or other. You know, I mean, yeah, hey, yeah. sorry, Janet. Could have done it. Yeah. Well, you, had, you could have done it, but you failed. I think there should have been more Joyce DeWitt out there. They should have given her more jobs. I call her Janet. Fuck Joyce. Give I don't Janet, know. Janet DeWitt. We just call her that. <laughs> they should have given Janet DeWitt some more jobs because she she was good. She was a good actor. Yeah. All right. Was. Cool, guys. That was it. That was good, yeah. guys. Please come in the bucket. Uh, See you later. R rated, by the way. Yeah. R rated, folks. Find it on the dark part of YouTube. Special thanks to Alf. Yeah, thanks for dropping by, Alf. I missed it. Hey. Whatever. Real Alf. I don't believe you. Yeah, believe us. Stupid. Later. Oh. oh, hit like and subscribe and hit the, <laughs> hit yeah, the little yeah. bell and all that. Dribbling to the end. Dribble, dribble. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. That'll do. <laughs> oh, you made it. Oh, yeah. Except for Alf, of course. Yeah. You guys know that Max Wright died? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah! Oh, jeez. Ah! Come on, Alf. Oh, oh, I know that he was a bit of a pill on the set. Ah! Don't fuck dance it. on his grave. Oh, fuck Willie, that guy. Willie was your buddy. Oh, my right. God. Okay. Sid Eggman Sid. Good dog. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs>